Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Sherry Turquoise and today is July 18th at 11.13 p.m. Uh, today is going to be another all-nighter. I have not wrote in the dark fantasy book quite yet because I was doing other things. I was actually researching editing because someone had requested a video, some videos on editing, how to edit, and what my process is for editing. I don't have a process for editing quite yet. That's my drawback because actually most of the books I have wrote, except for two, I have managed to get past the edit second draft. Get to the second draft, finish the second draft, but the one story I did not do a proper edit on my own because it was something I wasn't really going to get back to. I'm going to get back to it now, but it's going to be re-looked at from a different situation. It is also has been retold in a more adult version of the horror dark fantasy book but this story is also going to be told in one of the characters point of view in the life of the supernatural series because it is her story so yeah it's going to have a completely new first draft it's one of the books that I did get done but I didn't edit it properly and as for the novel that I did get done, get past edits, and got to beta readers. That was a completely different editing method because it is based on true events. So the editing method for that one was different versus what the ghosties would have. So, and what the editing process I'm doing for the Horror Dark Fantasy book is another different process together. Because I'm making sure everything is connected versus ghosties. I didn't really fix the plot holes I had in it. I just left them open. And not even gave them a second glance. So that's, gonna be one, that's one of the things I am trying to fix. So before I get to that one. Before I start editing. I'm going to start writing it in the Dark Fantasy book. Um... Like I said, I I believe I said this in yesterday's vlog. I'm only down to roughly four chapters before it's done. And the book will be done at around 11, 12, maybe even 13 chapters. Because the outline is outlined for 13 chapters. So, we'll see how that goes. I'm on chapter 9 right now, and I am about, I'm actually I'm about done chapter 9, I'll be on chapter 10 probably tonight. I might write more tonight than what I normally do, so with tonight I was thinking of writing, taking a break, edit, take a break, write in the dark fantasy book again, take another break and edit again that's what i was thinking i might do that i might not we'll see and as for the reading process um vessel is the book i'm reading it's the first book i need to read before i get to book three for beta reads i am 27 percent done so the book is getting better what the sword line is and it's gonna be kinda obvious that there's gonna be a love triangle and I already have a couple of theories of what's going what's gonna happen but I'm just curious to see if my theories are accurate or not so I'll see where the story leads me and see if my predictions are right or if they're wrong or if I was a little bit right. So, for my word count, 
I have 21,995 and I need to write 267 words. So I need to be at 22,262 words today before it hits midnight. So I'm gonna set my timer and put my editing tips away. This will definitely be in parts. Probably like, oh man, allergies are acting up. Probably like four parts. So between the world building and the editing, that's probably going to take me up until I do maybe until NaNoWriMo. Because I do the visual way with them. So that's eight videos. So that's eight weeks. I know I said I'm going to write. But I'm just curious where this is going to lead me. And I still got two learning videos. So we're looking at ten weeks already. Because I haven't got those videos posted yet. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it'll get me to October 7th. And then I got the pre recordings of my videos I got, which is six already. One, two, three. So we're already looking past November already. That's pretty good. So I'm just going to set my timer for, I'll probably just add to, yeah, I'll just leave it at the 25 minute mark and I'm going to grow a bush. And I'll see you guys in a few minutes. So that was time. I have 22,659. So I wrote an extra of. Okay, sorry about that. I had to look at the pre recording of today's vlog to see what my word count I was supposed to be at. Because I went over by 397 words. 
It is 11.51 p.m. So I'm just going to quickly add up my word count. So I wrote an extra of, so I wrote 664 words. And I am on chapter 7, not chapter 7. I am on chapter 10 actually on the dark fantasy book. So I didn't think I would be done this month, but I actually might be out if I keep trudging along like I am right now. Because I looked at chapters 10 outline for the book and I already have this information in the book already. So this information is irrelevant for chapter 10 but I'm going to be adding stuff to chapter 10 that needs to be there. So basically this outline is a basic outline but at the exact same time the information that's supposed to be in each chapter is not in where it's supposed to where it's supposed to be but at the exact same time it is in the right spot so yeah so chapter 10 is done differently just like chapter 4 or 5 or was it 9 yeah chapter 9 yeah 8 9 and 10 have been rewritten a little bit or a lot in some one of those chapters because the information has already been delivered in an earlier chapter and there's no point in repeating it in the exact same chapter unless it is relevant which in this case it is not so I'm currently on chapter 10 um, I actually am like I said, I'm almost to the climax. The climax is chapter 12, but I actually might be able to push that down to chapter 11 or even to the end of chapter 10 and have it start off and let it be the complete chapter 11. Maybe. All depends on how chapter 10 turns out. This is why I don't really write my chapters outline because information might get bumped up to somewhere else, but it's fine. So I am going to take a break. I'm going to sign out from my right track and Camp NaNoWriMo because by the time I come back to the write-in, if I do tonight, it will be at a different word count. And I already know I'm above the word count. I'm at like 6,000 some odd words. I'll let you guys know what the word count is after editing and if I go back to write-in later on tonight. I do need to stay up until at least 5 o'clock tonight. So this way five o'clock tomorrow morning so this way Sunday night I can do my best to stay awake all the way to six o'clock next Monday morning so I'll see you guys shortly and I'm back it is 1 32 a.m. and I don't think I'm gonna get any editing done tonight because I have a little bit of a headache and it has not gone away yet I'm gonna lie down for a little bit for like maybe an hour to see if it goes away and then if it does I'll go to editing and working on the book but if it don't I'm just gonna call it a night I'll see you guys either in a couple of hours or I'll see you guys in the morning have a good night morning it is 10 21 on a.m on sunday july 19th i did not get back to editing or writing last night because of my headache um probably due to the weather this round 
So anyways, I'm going to start editing chapter 8. And my word count is at 101,350 words. And uh, I'm on page 29 out of 178. So I will just hop right into this and go from there. See you in a few minutes. And I'm back. It is 11.17 a.m. I just finished the uh, chapter 8 and now I'm on to the newest chapter 9 which is Ela's point of view. I did have to change some things around in chapter 8 was Ela's point of view. So I have to remember when I hit Spirit's point of view because her point of view is also connected to the same location as Elo. I have to make sure those two line up properly and I add those changes to her point of view as well was their conversation anyway. Hmm. Anyways, Ela's point of view pages is, is one, two, two pages, which isn't too bad because I just need to add a quarter. Uh, at least half a page to half a page for her. Which isn't too bad. And then my word count is at 101,407 words. And I'm on page 32 of 178. So I am making progress real slowly. It's taking me longer than I thought to edit this. But the exact same time, I kind of knew it was going to take me a while. And I feel okay with how the book is turning out. Like, I still like the story. It's turned out better now than what it was before. Um, Because I'm adding information, I'm taking away some information, and I'm rewording some things. Because I noticed with Elo's point of view that I started to put him in a second person's point of view. Which was not intentional. So I had to switch that around and put him in a first per back to first person point of view. So I have to keep an eye on that to make sure I'm doing that properly. Anyways, um, I won't do chapter 9 today. I'm going to end this vlog here. And do chapter 9 tonight. And it's getting, it's going on lunch hour and I should try to eat something. Sleep my afternoon away like I'm, I'm supposed to. And go from there. As for reading wise, um, I am about 47% finished the book. I should be done it tonight, give or take. Or some point in time today so the book is turned I'm actually starting to enjoy the read a little bit more um, the main female character is a little bit misguided and doesn't know who to trust and right now there is a conflict between two characters so she now knows what she is but now she has to decide who to trust more her best friend or this complete stranger or can she trust both so I for sure see a love triangle happening but at the exact same time I don't really see it happening because she looks as her best friend as a family member but she doesn't really see him in a romantic kind of way but that might change as I read the book versus the stranger she is drawn to. Um, it actually a thought occurred to me and I'm wondering if she's the reincarnation of the stranger's first and only partner because he is a vampire and he only had one love interest. So I'm kind of wondering if she is somehow the reincarnation of his only love interest because now he is showing a side to him that he only showed to one other woman. 
so I'm kind of wondering if he found her reincarnation, but at the exact same time, I'm wondering if they if he found his soulmate kind of thing. It's just a couple of thoughts that have occurred to me while I was reading the book. So I will continue reading on to see whereabouts I am with it. And theory wise, I'm gonna do my best not to give out too much away and I'm gonna email them to see if it would be okay for me to do a book review on these books. Except for the third one because that is obviously in a beta read process. Um, as for the first two books, I'll ask them to see if they're okay with me doing a um, book review on it. If they're not, I'm totally fine with it. But I'm still enjoying the read, for sure. Anyways, I'm going to end this vlog here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to get notified of all my posts. Because during Camp NaNoWriMo and NaNoWriMo, I post videos five to six days a week. And I post live streams once a week as well. Or at least I try to. And during... The month before Camp NaNoWriMo and NaNoWriMo, I post videos twice a week and I do two live streams a week as well. And during the normal months, I post one video a week plus a live stream once a week. And I upload bonus videos every once in a while all throughout the year. So click that bell icon to get notified of all my posts. And click the like button, leave a comment down below. And... Stay true to yourself and stay unique and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.